The purpose of this video is to help you to create your table in Excel from all of your data. So this is what your finished product of your table should look like, something like this. Across the top you're going to have all of your questions. Um, and if you've got a question that's got a few parts to it or a few different responses, then just put in question, for example, question 3A, 3B, 3C. And down the left hand side you are going to have all of your participants, so you should have at least 10 participants. Then what you need to do is put in their data. So for example, participant one um, answered six times for the number of times they completed physical activity this week. For question two, they responded with basketball and swimming to uh, the question there. And question three and four and so on. Now, once you've put in all of your raw data, it will be useful to create some averages. So you can see I've already created an average down here. So what I can say is that 6.4 times per week is the average number of times uh, people completed physical activity in this sample group. Um, now what I can do to the, the formula we use to create the average is you simply click on equals and then start to type in average and you'll see it come up. I double click on that. Then what you need to do is highlight all of the data that you want averaged out. So I'm just going to drag and drop and then I'm just going to close the bracket and press enter and that will give me the average. So it's um, 25.7 minutes of low intensity activity every day is the average amount completed by the people in this survey group. Now a little trick, once you've put in one of the averages in there, you can grab the little um, green box down the bottom right hand corner of this cell and if you drag it across, that will automatically calculate the average for each of these um, groups of data. So it's a nice simple way to collect your data. Um, for this question here, you might want to even create an another average. So uh, we've got moderate intensity activity here and vigorous intensity activity. Um, and so what I want to know is what's the, so obviously we're looking to answer the question, are the people meeting the physical activity guidelines? This is a group of 13 to 17 year olds. So they need to do 60 minutes of moderate to vigorous intensity activity. So I want to do, what I want to do is add these two together. So click add, uh, sorry, equals 24.6 plus 15.2 and it will give you the total um, amount of, or the average amount of moderate to vigorous activity participated in per week. Um, now with question two, you've got uh, responses there, so it's not numbers and you can't really obviously create an average for that. So what we want to do there, I've just created this earlier, is put that into a separate table. And what I've done is put in swimming, basketball, walking, all of the responses that I got in the raw data and then total the number of times that that response came up. For example, swimming was mentioned once in the first person. Uh, basketball mentioned once. Walking was mentioned six times. So you can see this person does walking, this person, this person, this person, and this one, and this one. They all do walking, so that happened six times. Now it's useful to do this because when we start to create graphs, using the numbers will be a good way to represent that data, which will happen in the next video. So that is the table that you want to create. Um, try and print it off uh, in a nice, neat format so you can play around with the formatting a little bit. Um, you want to make it try and fit onto one page if you can. You might want to um, put it landscape instead of portrait. You see portrait will cut off half of the, um, the table in a minute when it's responding again. Um, also play around with I actually want to make that landscape, make it a bit nicer. You can also play around with how you present it. So if you put any boxes around the outside of your data, um, you know, you might want to fill in different colors um, to make it stand out a little bit more. That is totally up to you how you do that. Just make sure it um, represents your data. Good luck.